Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And today you join me at a location that I drive past quite a lot actually. And every time I drive past, I often think this could be a great location for photos, but it needs the right conditions. And right now, I think I have the right conditions. So it's still in the morning after I had the glorious sunrise at Gugambara. And I was on my way home and I noticed that not only did I have mist in Gugambara, but I had mist all along the water. And what I am at here is at the very edge of a loch called Loch Alua. And it is a long expanse of water. And now obviously that is what's creating the mist. Actually, I filmed a bit of footage uh, of here uh, when I was on my way down to my uh, photo shoot. If you haven't seen that, actually, I'll give you a quick look at what the view is without the fog now. So yeah, as you can see, it's a phenomenal um, location, but I have no visibility whatsoever right now because of this beautiful fog or mist that's there. But what I'm hoping is that as the sun is rising, that mist will burn off and then will reveal the trees that line the roof behind here as well. So that might happen, I don't know, but for now anyway, I'm going to definitely get a shot here because the water is flat cam. You've got these boats that are there as well, and I think it will be a nice shot. So yeah, that's what we're gonna to do today. I had a really long walk to get to this location. Um, so as you can see here, the, um, the water is quite flat and I have these boats. So what I'm going to do is frame up a shot with a boat on the right hand side of the frame. Now I can't get all the boats in because there's a, a camper van that's just over here and I don't want to disturb them. It's still quite early in the morning, but um, with my uh, 16 to 35, all effectively I need to do is frame the shot up and avoid them within the image. I think if I do that, I'd still get a nice photo. And even as it is, yeah, right now, that looks really, really nice. I'm just going to have a quick look here from a focus point of view. So I'm at F8 from earlier. I'm gonna go that too, actually, uh, F10. And I'm at 1 60th of a second. I'll take a quick test shot here. And yeah, that's lovely because these are leading in from the right hand side here and kind of going off uh, over to the right as well. And then you've got this bit of a bank on the far side over there and then nothingness in the distance. But I think it will be a nice shot anyway. So yeah, I'm going to fine tune this. I'll check back with you, in with you again in a moment. This is such a peaceful and tranquil scene. Um, I've moved over now towards the left hand side of this bank because there's some reeds that are below me here and I'm including those in the shot. Now where I'm located here is right to the side of the road so give me one second to wait for a car. And that is the only thing that's disturbing the sound of the morning doves, the birds are chirping as well. The midges are out in force, so nature is at its best. But like I said, I'm framing up the shot here with the reeds that are in the bottom. I've taken a couple of shots actually. I have a couple here with some of the boats on the right hand side, and I've taken another one with no boat on the other side, just the expanse of water with the reflection. But hopefully now when the sun will break through this mist, and like I said earlier on, will reveal what we have in the distance. But even for now, I'm really happy to have this being so subtle, so delicate as such, um, and it's a nice shot, I think, overall. I'm at F10, 125th of a second, ISO is at 100, and I am as wide as I can go at 16 mil. So yeah, I'll give you a look at both of these types of shots anyway here, and then we'll see what happens when 
this mist will dissipate because I know that it will because the sun is going to burn it off and hopefully reveal stuff in the distance. This is a stunning area. I have to keep my voice down here because I'm not that far away from the camper van. It's just over here off your frame. But um, what I've decided to do now is come over this side here because I can get all the boats in pretty much actually in the framing that you have there. You've got the leading on the right hand side and also the bank over here as well as leading into the shot nicely. Um, with this as well, my settings are at F11, 130 of a second. I'm at around 18 mil. Um, so I think this is a lovely shot as well. Now, now, the other side as well is I have to keep stopping. I'm surprised at the amount of cars that are passing on this road. Now it is half seven so I suppose people are going to work but I wasn't expecting it there. There was a parade of around five cars actually came there a moment ago. So yeah what I'm going to do now is I'll show you the shot and actually what I'll do is I'm going to send up the drone. So I'm going to go further over this way so that I don't wake these guys up. I'm going to send the drone up above this mist and we'll see what that reveals as well. So I'll show you the shot then I'll show you the drone and then we'll reconvene after that.
As the morning sun began to burn off the stunning mist, I was delighted to have sent the drone up and also to have had the perfect conditions to finally photograph the stunning part of West Cork. My last six episodes were all recorded over a period of just 24 hours, so it goes to show just what's possible in a short time frame when the locations are as stunning as they were. I'll leave you now with some more images I managed to capture on this morning, and if you enjoyed this episode, why not watch the recommended video at the end to continue enjoying the beauty of Ireland. And if you want to see more awe-inspiring locations, I'd really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss out. Until the next time, Schlange Folge.